tea friends welcome back to day number four of our adventure um i actually finally uh decorated my notebook so here it is there's just um, a whole bunch of happy planner stickers on there um that i did the front and back and also the inside cover um of my little notebook for um the notes that i have um, for what we opened for the day so jumping right into it, the first advent that we opened up was the Plum Deluxe Tea Lovers Advent Calendar. Um, this one we got Fireside Chat Black Tea, um, which of course is a black tea that has rooibos as well, cinnamon, ginger, cocoa nibs, safflower, calendula, and vanilla, walnut, and chocolate essences. And this one sounded really good. Um, sounds like a really nice relaxing black tea that um, you'd of course have next to the fireside or the fireplace, I'm sure it'll be great um, on a nice cool rainy day. The second one we opened up was Diamond Black from the Brew Tea um, Advent Calendar. So our card for today says that Diamond Black is a luxurious Earl Grey black tea kissed with flowers, perfect for a special occasion. Um, this one, as soon as I opened the bag, the bergamot was like really strong in this one. Um, so I think this one will definitely be a good um, Earl Grey to either have um hot or as a london fog which sounds really good it says why we love it a floral hit carries through as the water lands and infuses gradually the black tea and bergamot makes an appearance such an intelligent blend the two options combine perfectly and the order in which the palate senses each flavor leaves you wanting another sip very enticing <laughs> this tea is from uh, mashir which is located in the center of Assam, Northeast India, on the bank of the Brahmaputra River in the district of Sonipur, 20 minutes from the ancient city of Tezpur and two hours away from Kaziranga National Park. It is a beautiful oasis set in the midst of the Balipara division of the Adabari Tea Estate. Assam tea is known for its body, briskness, multi flavor, and bright color. So the ingredients in this blend are black tea, mallow blossoms, natural bergamot flavor. Pretty simple and um, sounds like a great strong Earl Grey blend. The third advent we opened up today was the David's Tea um, Tea Advent Calendar, um, which we got hot chocolate, which is actually one of my favorite teas. Um, it's a pu'er tea, which has black tea as well. Um, it's very strong on the chocolate, so it has cocoa nibs, chocolate chips, chocolate curls, and cocoa powder and it also has some stevia and flavoring so this one is a really great um chocolatey tea as the name suggests um it also is really good with um you, you don't really need any sugar for this one um, but i do like it with whipped cream <laughs> so that one is really good um for my diy advent calendar that i made i actually got a steep society moroccan mint which is just simply green tea and spearmint um so i actually have this one steeped up right here um in my new favorite cup so you can see the color of this one is a really nice amber um, green color. And I actually um, used what was left of the tin and what was also in my tea stash. So this is gonna be a part of my empties for December, which is awesome. This one is actually really nice. I don't know why I was kind of avoiding it for a while because um, I was starting to not like peppermint teas, but I think that because it's December, I. I'm probably getting more into the mood of peppermint teas because now this tastes really good. So because there's only two ingredients, that's pretty much what I taste. So it is um, green tea and spearmint. So you can taste the um, green tea base and the spearmint actually complements it really nicely. So I did have this hot, but um, it cooled down a lot and I actually think that it would be pretty good ice. Um, so I don't know, I haven't really been liking peppermint teas, but I think I might like it now because of the season. <laughs> so um, that's a plus because then I can start drinking all the peppermint teas that I have in my stash. The next um, tea advent that we opened was the Palais de Thé. Today we got the Yunnan Dior, Dior. <laughs> Um, this one is just a subtle black tea from Yunnan, and this one um, looks like a really, really high quality tea. Um, my mom and I were opening it and we were actually impressed with the quality of the tea that was for today, um, and really for all of the teas in this um, advent calendar. So this one, I almost want to um, maybe steep it up um, in a tea session, because I haven't used my gaiwan in a long time and my whole... Um, set up with my tea pets and stuff so I think this would actually be a really good tea to um, do that with. 
So the second to last advent calendar that we opened up was the Tea for All Reasons advent. Um, this one we got Pecan Pumpkin Tart, um, which I really thought that this would be a black tea, um, but I guess the tart part kind of lends itself more to the uh, green tea base and it had a lot of um, fruit ingredients, which I thought was interesting. So um, in addition to the green tea, it has papaya pieces, orange peels, apple, carrot, and beet pieces, hibiscus, cinnamon, pomegranate peel, sea buckthorn, uh, cardamom, pumpkin pieces, and natural flavoring. So this has a lot going on in it. Um, it sounds like um, it's really fruity, um, but also has like pumpkin spice in it and pumpkin pieces. So I think this might be a really interesting blend. Um, I think I'm gonna try it hot and then if not, I think it might be good as an iced tea um, or like cold brewed, so I might have to try that. And the last advent that we opened up was our Lilo and Stitch um, sock advent calendar because it was an even day today. And this one we just got a really cute and simple um, Ohana Means family um, little sock, which is really nice. So that is all that I have for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!